Hey, thanks for watching. Below this video, there's a spot for you to comment. It would mean the world to me if you could, at a minimum, just say hello. Feel free to ask any questions as we go along. As you probably notice, this will be a four-part video series. So thanks for hanging in there with me. I want to spend a few minutes showing you how play in school college bus tours will impact your high school baseball players college recruiting process for the better. I'll show you how our tours will take him from being reactive to being proactive, from being an uninformed kid to being the most informed player he knows, and from playing defense to playing offense during the college recruiting process. Think about the advantage your son will have proactively attacking the recruiting process with real world information. Our goals revolve around players finding their best fit instead of just going to a random college because a coach likes them. Before we get into that, I realize that some people watching have no idea who I am and have never heard of Play In School. So let me introduce myself. My name's Rich Prado. I started Play In School college recruiting videos in 2008 with the intention of giving players a tool to proactively communicate with college coaches. While the actual videos we produced had real value allowing coaches to evaluate players' skill sets, what we found was that the true power came in the actual communication, investing time, effort, and money to create the video turned out to be a catalyst for the players to finally start communicating with college coaches. They say a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Our videos became the first steps for hundreds of players over the first few years. It wasn't long before we began partnering with travel teams of all sizes. We've been lucky enough to handle film for small local teams, regional organizations, and some of the best national organizations. You may have heard of teams like the Evo Shield Canes, Orlando Scorpions, Virginia Cardinals, IMG Academy, the Richmond Braves, the Dirtbags, and many others. These are all teams we've worked with over the last several years. You can imagine this experience puts me right in the middle of the entire showcase circuit. Let me be very clear, I'm a big fan of showcase ball. And I'm not saying you should do a college bus tour instead of playing showcase ball. Our college bus tours are actually complementary to what you kids are doing with the showcase circuit. The goals and objectives are almost opposites, yet both are very important. Let me explain. The entire point of showcase ball is to play in front of college coaches. That's very important. Meanwhile, the entire point of our college bus tours is to have players see actual colleges. Showcases allow coaches to evaluate players. Our bus tours allow players to evaluate colleges. Why does this matter to you? It's so easy to get caught up in the excitement of the college recruiting process. But remember, Baseball is not a full ride sport. You are about to invest somewhere between $100,000 and $200,000 on your son's education. Do you want to spend that money at a place that your son sort of likes, or do you want to invest that money at your son's best fit? Our bus tours are specifically designed to help high school baseball players figure out what their best fit looks like. Now parents, the most comparable parallel I can give you to the college choice your son is about to make would be the process of researching, shopping for, and buying a house. Buying a home is a huge life decision and an enormous financial investment. Sound familiar? Well, the college choice is perhaps a child's largest decision, and for many families, either their biggest or second biggest financial investment. 
When you were in the market for a home, how many times did someone who didn't really know you say that they had the perfect house for you? Inevitably, it was not a good fit for your situation. It was too big or too small. It was not in the right school district. It was too far from work, too expensive, etc., etc. It wasn't that the house wasn't good. It was that the house wasn't the best fit for your needs. In reality, the way most home purchases take place start with research. Most research has been done through a lifetime of experience. Think about how many homes you've been in throughout your life. Each of those added to your experience. Then you address your personal needs. I call these non-negotiables. These are lists of items that are deal breakers. For example, you know you need a minimum of three bedrooms, three baths, half acre in a certain high school district and under $225,000. So what do you say when your realtor shows you a two bedroom, two bathroom condo in the wrong school district that costs $300,000? I know what I would tell them, you're fired. Back to your sons now. The question I ask players and parents is very simple. Besides baseball and a quote unquote good education, what are your next five non-negotiables you need from the college you eventually attend? Unfortunately, most high school baseball players simply lack the experience to intelligently answer that question. It's not their fault, they just haven't been on enough campuses and gone behind the scenes to truly know the differences or similarities between colleges. I'll tell you a quick story. I asked this question to a kid last winter, and to my surprise, he gave me a partial answer. At the top of his list, he said, with such confidence, was the importance of small class setting. I'll say I was quite impressed. That's a decent response coming from a ninth grader. But I thought I'd test his answer, so I responded by saying, small class setting, huh? You mean like 100 students per class? Not surprisingly, he responded, exactly and I just left it alone he basically proved to me that his answer was some canned response he probably heard his parents say but really had no real-life concept of the differences between big college class versus a small college class meanwhile the kids on our tours are seeing real classrooms in real colleges we're seeing what the lecture hall at the College of William and Mary looks like. We're seeing what a science lab looks like at a place like VMI. And then there's Davidson College. The baseball coach took the players on the North Carolina bus tour to a nondescript room that may not look any different than an average size high school classroom. That's when he told the boys, this is the largest class on campus. It's at moments like these that you begin seeing the light bulbs go off for these kids. Does your son honestly know from real life experience what things he needs from college? Does your son know with certainty what his best fit looks like, feels like, smells like? Does he know with confidence? You might want to find out. You're very close to beginning to send thousands upon thousands of dollars somewhere. Don't you want it to be the best fit for him? In the next video, I'm going to spend some time walking you through the college bus tours in a little more detail. I'm also going to walk you through the type of kid that we're looking for. Believe it or not, we don't want or need every kid to join us. These tours are not cattle calls. There are always reasons to not do something. In the coming videos, we'll address some of the things that should not be reasons not to send your son on a college bus tour. Also, in the next video, I'm gonna make a huge announcement. Let's put it this way, I'm going to literally put my money where my mouth is. I'm super excited to share this news with everyone. I want to remind you to say hello in the comments below. It means the world to me to hear what you have to say. Feel free to ask a question or just say hello. The next video will come out in a few days until then, looking forward to reading the comments. 
Thanks a lot, guys.